and the implant is finally removed. Dr. Lear describes some of the extraordinary findings discovered during this amazing surgery. There is no portal of entry. There's no evidence how the object got inside the body. Then when we look at the soft tissues that surround the object, we find there is no inflammatory response. This is impossible because anything that enters the body should have an inflammatory response. And then thirdly, they are uh, surrounded by a large number of nerve proprioceptors which are not anatomically correct. Once the outer biological membrane was removed, it revealed a triangular shaped object. This object was housed in yet another gray membrane. Remarkably, this inner membrane could not be cut even with a surgical scalpel. The implant was then sent to Los Alamos National Laboratory for metallurgic testing. Uh, we knew that when we got the initial report back from Los Alamos that we didn't have something that was common because Los Alamos is a world-class laboratory and would not recommend further testing on anything that they didn't feel was strange. So it was the combination of elements uh, that were in these objects that I think inspired them to advise us that more tests should be done. The implants were then sent to New Mexico Tech Laboratory where a battery of metallurgic tests were performed on the objects. The theory that they put forth was that these were portions of meteorites. They did not know they were removed from the human body. Amazingly, the New Mexico Tech Lab report revealed that the elements in the implants were composed of meteorites so rare, only a few had ever been found. At this point, scanning electron microscope analysis was conducted on the implants. The results revealed the implants were manufactured and not naturally occurring meteorites. Amazingly, results showed the implants had been connected to the patient's nerve endings. The second uh, set of uh, tests following uh, some of the tests that were run at uh, New Mexico was run by University of California at San Diego. The laboratory results from the University of California at San Diego confirmed the earlier tests. Astonishingly, a portion of the metal analyzed in the implants was extraterrestrial and did not come from Earth. Some of the elements that were found in combination were of non-terrestrial or extraterrestrial origin. The evidence is overwhelming. The implications are staggering. In each case, the chain of evidence has been documented, and the test results are shocking. This could be the proof that science has been looking for. The implications of this discovery are worldwide and affect every single living human being. But implants aren't the only extraterrestrial material Dr. Lear has been researching. The greatest...